I just wanted to let you know that I finished my speech just just a while ago and yeah that will be the essence of super topic today but first and foremost I'd like to ask you what is the purpose of tomorrow if I do it today I Carl Gabriel de Gala would represent those students who love to procrastinate for the past few years that the world has been battling a virus that cannot be seen I pity myself for fighting against me. Because there's this monster inside my head, or should I say at my body, that at a point of time, he eventually became a friend of mine. Back when I was in junior high school, I was so driven by the excitement of finally being a graduating student. The fact that I would be able to perform a theatrical play, compete in bisection, see dance competition, and the feeling of finally depending on this paper, which many of my seniors said was the best feeling a high school student could have. But you know what? Before any of that could happen, there was a major threat trying to start those dreams so much. The COVID-19 pandemic. First, I can imagine how a student like me could practice a different type of learning system. Face-to-face -face additional schooling to modular and online classes. It's never been a great transition for us students, right? From then on, a lost enthusiasm to study became more easily distracted and became more focused on other things than learning, particularly on various social media platforms. And life has been like two minutes more. I'll start my English essay. This one more episode. I'll proceed making my art project. Just five more TikTok videos. Oh wait. I might can attack the newest issue on Twitter. This one more minute, I might lose the motivation to start working on important things again. But you know what? Procrastination and cramming made me a better person because it forced me to get stunned. Basically, procrastination is simply the act of delaying or putting off something. Yet, we are taught that it's lazy that it's the enemy of success and achievement. But they've got it all wrong. Because more and more challenges in our student life demand an innovative approach. This blind focus on productivity is the enemy of innovation and creativity. If we want more time, or if we want to be more innovative, we need to spend more time on productive procrastination. And students like me use procrastination as a tool wisely because it helps me to get better results on something I am working on, be it a problem to solve or a creative task to do. Elizabeth, when you see your classmate who is procrastinating on something, ask him whether what superhero he would be if given a chance. Trust me, he'll answer, I want to be the superhero who can stop crime. We procrastinators are having a side effects when deadlines are all around corners. Deadline has been our wake up call to break, to focus, to cry, and to get things done. And so, let me introduce to you my best friend, Tanya Hansel. He's been a good friend for the past three difficult years of my life. Both in personal, and my so-called school life. He's always there, and he's taking care of me no matter what. No matter what, how long or short the deadline. At this point of time, from my point of view, I need my best friend, Panic Master, because it's the day before the deadline. May 24, 2022, Tuesday, at exactly one o'clock, we are told to have a skills competition about delivering a speech. Today, May 30, 2022, at exactly 8.38 p.m., I was trying to crumb this speech, writing on a piece of shit. I know tomorrow is another day, but it's shooting day, and I don't want to make any, any excuses about how I ended up like this. Because, you know, it's kind of embarrassing. 
So yeah, I am telling you this to never go beyond people's expectations of you. If you have time to do it, just do it. But do it on the day before the deadline. Just like any other people in the world, I want to finish things as planned as I can, as fast as I could, and to make it done as early as possible. But I think I'm one of those people who loves to have fun rather than working on things at the first glance. For most people, tomorrow is an day full of possibilities, potential, and new things to do. For us, procrastinators who always promise to get things done, but never actually achieve anything, are the greatest assets that we could have. Time of doubt as deadline do. You may wonder why we think differently. It's because our brain works efficiently more on what steps need to be changed and what actions need to be taken. And I have to say this. We are all procrastinators in different ways. And some of you might have a healthy relationship with deadlines. But remember, when the panic monster is alive, it is time. We need to think about what we're really procrastinating on. Because everyone is procrastinating on something in life. And that's the job for all of us. To figure it out is starting today. No, not today. Probably tomorrow. Thank you.